My role today in doing this program for you is to introduce you to these wonderful Native American flutes. When I first joined this group and they asked me if I was a performer or not, I said, well, I play a lot of different instruments. And when I rattled off all the different things I play, and I mentioned the Native American flutes, they thought it would be absolutely wonderful for this program. Um, I will tell you that this is the first time for me playing the Native American of this size or nature, most of the Native American flutes that I play are for my own personal pleasure, plus I play in a flute circle, which is among people that I know and I meet every month after month. <laughs> and many of you faces are new to me, so I'm happy to have you here. The other thing I was going to say, if someone has missed the program today for whatever reasons, uh, they are most welcome to give me a phone call and I'd be happy to invite them to my private music room in my home where I can actually share many other things with you that I do. Um, all the flutes that you're going to see here today are all high spirit flutes. There are certainly many, many different flute makers on the market, on the computer, and everywhere across the world. Uh, I have chosen the high spirit flute because I think it gives a very quality flute production for the dollar, if you will. I wasn't interested in spending thousands and thousands of dollars on flutes. But obviously, as you can see in front of me, those thousands sort of added up over time. I am now the mother of nine flutes. <laughs> and uh, I started with one um, many years ago. This is a G flute, very nicely inlaid with turquoise that my husband bought me in Arizona uh, as a gift. And I was very, very happy to have that. And it grew from there. So what I'm going to do for you is play this flute a small pocket flute, it's an A flute. All of these are key differently. And the way Borg Odell, who is the maker of these flutes, really wants these flutes to be played is from your heart. And I will tell you, as being a person who reads music and enjoys music, it's been very difficult for me to play from my heart, but I'm gonna give you the best I can. <coughs>
F sharp. The dual flutes like this are, they're going to play singly and they play in a drone sound. And so I'm going to do them both ways so that you can hear the difference. These flutes are keyed up, I think, in A and C and F sharp. They come in different keys. But this is an interesting flute to play because by getting this one, I actually have two flutes in one. <laughs> signature flute and why these are signature flutes is because they have very nice inlays and very nice carvings. This one obviously was a little bit more expensive than some of my other flutes. Uh, this key is in the key of C, so it's going to be playing a little bit high. Uh, and the tune I picked for you is one that I really truly like. It's called Blue Feathers. that I have actually have gotten for free from the computer 
uh, flute tree and several other things on the computer nowadays you can get free music and I like free music. It's like to me it's like candy in a candy shop. <laughs>
my A flute. If you're ever deciding on where you get interested in flute playing, I highly recommend that you start with the key of A. Uh, it's the key to start with and plays up most of these tunes very nicely no matter what you play. Uh, it's also the key that if you ever get involved in a flute circle, instructional course if you will, they're going to have you bring the key of A flute. So if you want to know where to start A, and again this other one's an A too, but it's higher pitched of course because it's the pocket flute. The song I chose to play on this is called the Cherokee Morning. Thank you. 